Hello, I'm Polly Vizard from the Centre for Analysis of Social Exclusion and I'm going to tell you about some work on social inequalities and the quality of life in Europe. This study looked at inequalities in Europe in different areas of life such as health, material deprivation and dignity and respect. It also looked at the impact of the recession and crisis on the position of different population subgroups in Europe, finding evidence of disadvantage becoming more prevalent and social inequalities widening against some indicators. The work uses the European Quality of Life Survey 2011, which gathered information about quality of life in 34 European countries, including all the European Union member states. The information included details such as gender, disability, occupational status and citizenship, so it's a particularly valuable resource for examining inequalities between different population subgroups. It was commissioned by Eurofound and published last year. Comparing the 2011 data set with the survey results from 2007 also allows us to build up a picture of the impact of the recession and crisis on social inequalities in Europe. Our findings on mental health are particularly interesting. We found that in Europe in 2011, subgroups experiencing a higher risk of poor mental health included women, older people aged 75 or above, individuals who experience a limiting long-standing illness or disability, and the unemployed. From other research, we know that there has been an upturn in suicides in some European countries hard hit by the recession. Suicide is an important indicator of poor mental health, and our findings confirm that there has been a considerable increase in the risk of poor mental health in countries such as Greece over the period 2007 to 2011. We also found that the risk of poor mental health amongst young adults aged 18 to 24 increased over this period, suggesting that the scarring effects of the recession and crisis are not limited to worklessness, but that the health and well-being of young people have also been adversely affected. Our findings on the impact of disability on the quality of life are also particularly striking. In Europe as a whole, the position of individuals who experience a disability, already disadvantaged in 2007, further deteriorated against a number of indicators over the period 2007 to 2011 in the wake of the recession and crisis. People reporting a limiting long-standing disability or health condition experienced increased material deprivation and severe material deprivation to a greater extent than individuals in the general population. Look at this chart. The data points that are further out on the radar diagram indicate worse outcomes against indicators in different critical quality of life domains. The chart shows that individuals in Europe who self-identify as experiencing a limiting long-standing illness or disability are systematically disadvantaged across a number of aspects of their life, not only in terms of their health, but also in terms of material deprivation and aspects of individual life such as social support, dignity and respect, autonomy and perceived social exclusion. For example, take social support. The study highlighted that lack of social support is a major concern across Europe. However, support gaps were greatest for those who experienced a disability. As the chart shows, 44% of those who experienced a long-standing limiting health condition or disability reported having no source of social support, compared with 26% of those who did not experience a disability. Individuals who experienced a disability were also more likely to report lack of dignity and respect in their treatment by others. Our report contributes to broader efforts to develop new indicators for monitoring quality of life and social progress in Europe. It builds on SEN's capability approach by examining inequalities in the distribution of substantive freedoms and opportunities, as well as on the findings of the Commission on the Measurement of Economic Performance and Social Progress. If you're interested in knowing more about the project, a summary can be found in the Case Annual Report. Our full report can be found on the Eurofound website at this link.